health. And I would like to read a short statement before I do that. Um, so I appreciate you all bearing with me this evening. Okay. It's become clear to me that I haven't yet made a public statement regarding my personal support for Dr. Barry and the entire staff of the public health, environmental health, and health and human services teams. I'm grateful to have such a dedicated and compassionate public health officer at our helm, who's provided the Board of Health, the City of Port Angeles, local businesses, and the community at large with science-based strategies that have been designed to keep our community safe during the last year and a half. I can't imagine how much, how much worse the COVID-19 crisis would have been here in Colum County without Dr. Barry. And while I've been saddened to see the recent high number of cases and deaths in our community, I believe these numbers would have been significantly higher without Dr. Barry's leadership. I know it's hard being the person people turn to when they're looking for advice and answers while also being the person to blame when things go wrong. It's a difficult position to be in and made even more difficult with the hostility, threats, and misinformation that I've seen in our community. I believe it's important for me to say publicly that not only do I have full faith in Dr. Barry and her leadership, but I also believe that her mask orders and proof of vaccine requirement for businesses are appropriate fair-minded and done so with the intention of keeping our entire community safe. I believe in free speech and the right to protest the government. I was raised protesting and I've personally been a part of protests against government policies I disagree with. Protest is part of what makes a democracy successful. In my role as the chair of this board, I welcome protest and public comment and I believe everybody deserves their voices to be heard. But now I want to make it clear that I don't condone threats or intimidation tactics, including against our public servants and government employees. I think it's unconscionable that our staff have received threats, been called names, and have been subject to, to intimidation. Everybody deserves to feel safe at their place of work and in their homes. So with that, thank you to this board for joining me today to look at this resolution and to be part of this special meeting today. Thank you. Okay, so with that, I would like to move along, um, which brings us to the resolution that I um, think I have to read to us first before we discuss it. So um, I would like to read that now. Sorry, you get to hear a whole lot of me talking today. Okay, the Clallam County Board of Health finds as follows. Whereas the spread of COVID-19 poses a significant risk to everyone in our community, and whereas Dr. Allison Berry has served as Clown County's health officer through the entirety of the COVID-19 pandemic, and whereas Dr. Berry has provided consistent and compassionate leadership and guidance, and whereas Dr. Berry has led a public health team that has worked tirelessly to support the health of our community, and whereas Clown County's environmental health team has provided exceptional and vital support to the public health effort throughout the pandemic. Whereas Clallam County's Health and Human Services Department has been both broadly and deeply involved in supporting public health in a myriad of ways throughout the pandemic. And whereas the public health, environmental health, and health and human services teams have performed this work on top of the ongoing public health efforts that occurred prior to the pandemic. And whereas Dr. Berry has utilized the best available scientific data to inform public health directives. And whereas Dr. Berry has issued public health orders intended to help reduce the transmission of COVID-19 in our community and keep our vulnerable community members safe. And whereas these orders have been issued to support local hospitals, medical professionals, and other frontline staff who have also dedicated themselves to caring for our community. And whereas Clown County's public health team continues to work tirelessly to help our community understand the seriousness of the COVID-19 pandemic. And whereas this work has been done in an environment where the public health response has been complicated by the circulation of a large amount of hostility fueled by misinformation. Now, therefore be it resolved by the Clown County Board of Health to offer our full support and deep gratitude to Clown County's health officer, Dr. Allison Barry, Clown County Public Health, and all those in the Health and Human Services Department and throughout the organization who are giving of themselves to help others in our community. The Clown County Board of Health honors the very difficult work being done in service of our community's health and those doing this work 
work in challenging circumstances. Thank you. So uh, with that, I think, let me, to be honest with you, I can't remember doing an ordinance before or a resolution before, excuse me. So if I get the um, or operations wrong, please let me know. Um, but it, I think um, that now would be a good time for a motion or discussion. Um, so please feel free to raise your hands. I will call on you or um, press the little unmute button um, and uh, Kevin will unmute you. Uh, Mark. And then Jerry, I did see you. Yeah, thank you, Navara, uh, and thanks to the board also for uh, making time to meet today. I would be pleased to move that the Board of Health approves this resolution recognizing Clallam County's health officer and the Health and Human Services Department as written and presented by our Board of Health Chair. A second. Okay, fabulous. Thank you, Mark, for um, making the motion and Shahida for being the second. Um, I would like, well, I guess before we vote, um, now would be a good time to hear discussion on that motion. Uh, Mark, would you like to speak to your motion? Oh, sure. Thank you. Um, you know, uh, first, Navara, thank you very much for the immediate outreach to the Board of Health after our meeting last week. Uh, you know, I, I, I believe uh, that everyone on the Board of Health shares your, your uh, perspective that it's important for us to make time to listen to people and, and, uh, and to really work to understand what they're, what they're saying and why. At the same time, I wholeheartedly agree with you that, uh, you know, the, the, the bullying, the intimidation, the banging on doors, uh, the demands to be let in. That's not, that's, that's not public participation, uh, you know, in, the, in a helpful way and in the way that, that really helps to build community. And, uh, and, and I just, I'm, I'm glad to see the board taking a stand, not only uh, to make the time to listen to folks in our community, but also to share our own perspective. And, and uh, I also uh, favor the, the, the implementation of these health orders. You know, no one wants to be in the situation that we're in, but we're very fortunate to have such a skilled uh, and resourceful, knowledgeable, and exceptional public health officer who's not only a leader for us here in our county, but who is a leader amongst her peers in the state. And in my opinion, it's just as it's important for us as elected officials and, and volunteers as members of the Board of Health to take the time to listen, it's also important for us to make sure that the public understands where we stand. And this resolution does a very good job of capturing, uh, you know, of capturing a lot of how I, a, a lot of where I stand. I, I think that it is, uh, you know, the, that there's no doubt that COVID has been tremendously impactful on our community as it has been on every community. And when I look back at the guidance that Dr. Barry has provided at every step along the way, uh, the predictions that she has made, which have borne out to be true as far as I can recall just about every time, uh, and the care that she's taken when considering what the right mitigation measures are uh, is, 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 is commendable. And I just feel, I feel very fortunate to live in a community with with such uh, with such leadership, uh, not to mention Dr. Barry's leadership, but the the incredible response that our entire public health team has had. I also think that it's really important for us as members of the Board of Health, given the amount of misinformation that is out there and what that's doing to us, to our community, for all of us to take a stand and and make sure that at least from 
from our perch, we're doing what we can to uh, cut through that misinformation to be a trusted source of, of good information as it relates to public health. And if this, this, if this meeting, if this resolution, and if our work moving forward can focus on, uh, you know, on the role that we play broadly in helping to encourage public health and And if we can be more vocal in encouraging people to, uh, you know, to uh, buy into the, the public health messaging and the public health efforts that we're making, then uh, all the better. So uh, I guess I'll probably start repeating myself if I, if I talk a whole lot longer. So I'm going to give the floor to someone else. But Navarra, again, I just, I thank you very much for your leadership of, of this board, for calling this meeting today, for helping to put this resolution together. Uh, and I appreciate the rest of the board for your consideration of this resolution. And I look forward to working with each of you to continue providing dependable, trustworthy, science-based information to our community uh, so that we can all make good choices moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Um, Jerry, I did see that you, uh, it looked like you wanted to say a few words. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I think your comments and Mark's comments pretty well sum up without me having to repeat a lot of things, uh, how I feel about this too. You know, I, I haven't perhaps been the most vocal in meetings, but as I've told Dr. Berry in the past, just because I'm not the most vocal doesn't mean I support you 100%. I enthusiastically support this resolution. My clinic, the Olympic Events Community Clinic has worked hand in hand with the Department of Health and Dr. Berry for the last 18 months. And we know how hard they work. We know how frustrating the work can be. We know how unappreciated the work can also be. Um, the, the amount of misinformation in the community to me is just staggering. Um, and we have to do, I think it's incumbent on myself and other members of the board to take a more active role, engaging the community and trying to get through this, because this is how we're gonna break this in the next couple of years. So again, I, in, I wholeheartedly endorse this uh, uh, resolution. I thank Dr. Berry for her leadership in trying times. And I thank Dr. And I thank Navara uh, for also uh, putting forward this uh, meeting and uh, getting to the bottom of this issue. Thank you, Jerry. What members of the board, Shahida? Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I just wanna echo the sentiments from Navara, from Mark, from Jerry, um, what was written in the resolution. I, all members of the Board of Health, um, we've read all the comments sent to us by email. We've heard all the comments um, spoken in the public. Um, bullying and threats are not acceptable, um, but we also received some really wonderful letters in support of Dr. Barry, and um, I believe that that is more reflective of the general public opinion of Dr. Barry and her work. Uh, I know that we've all made many sacrifices this year um, in the last year and a half. Uh, and I understand that we're all tired of COVID, but we must not lose hope and we must not lose sight of the higher guiding principle to serve a greater good and to care for each other, to help each other, to watch out for one another. Um, I think that's what it means to be part of a community um, where we all need and depend on one another. And so um, I come from a public health background. I know that by definition, public health um, includes not only the health of a population, but the, the endeavors to keep the greatest number of people and the most vulnerable among us safe 
and healthy. So with, and as a parent with the start of school being the top priority of our county and the well-being of our children and whatever we can do to keep them learning in the classroom, um, it's also to keep our hospital staff and our health systems um, from being overworked and overwhelmed in this time. I think that this being the case, there's, um, I put all of my faith in the orders that Dr. Barry has, um, has issued. And so with that, I, I yield the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Shahida. Randy, would you like to speak? No pressure. Uh, I've, well, yeah. I've heard about two thirds of what was stated. So, and I, all I'm gonna say is I'm in agreement with everything that I've heard. So uh, if that's good enough, uh, thank you. That's great, thank you, Randy. I did see that, oh yeah, Kevin, go for it. Well, not, not as a board member, but uh, as a staff member that does work with Dr. Barry, as well as the rest of the HHS staff, I just want to thank Dr. Barry personally because it, it's more than this resolution and or the directives that she has given. Uh, I've seen her at work. I, I've seen how she interacts with staff. She's so helpful. She's so patient. Uh, she's been to the social distancing center. She's gone up to Forks. She's gone door to door assisting people. So she goes above and beyond what any expectation would be from any employee, uh, not to mention the role of a health officer. Uh, kudos to you and thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I did see that we had another call in number and I did just also wanna make sure that that wasn't um, Commissioner Peach or uh, Don Lawley. So I just want to make sure that um, if there are other board members who we didn't, who came in a little late. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I just got a note from Lonnie that Commissioner Peach is trying to call into the meeting and I, we think we've got it set up so that he can hear us. Commissioner Peach, are you able to hear us and uh, weigh in? Hit star six to unmute. Yeah, no, he's calling in through a different line and Lonnie's trying to get him, get him hooked into us here. So um, I think what you need to do, Kevin, try, try unmuting the boardroom feed. <clears throat> and then Lonnie, you might need to unmute on the boardroom computer now that Kevin's given you permission to unmute. We'll see if this works. All right, not yet. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, the boardroom is unmuted. Commissioner Peach, by any miracle of chance, can you hear us? I can, thanks for my technology. All right, we'd love to hear your thoughts, Commissioner. Go right ahead. I'm sorry I wasn't able to attend the previous conversation. I'd like to share my thought that the um, resolution before the Board of Health is one that I support. The um, thought that I offer is, um, Dr. Allison understands the authority of the board, but I want to ask her to think about the power of the board. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. What a fun time we're having with the technology. Thank you to Kevin and Lonnie and Mark and everybody who's helping to make that possible. Um, are there any other thoughts before we take a vote? 
hearing <clears throat> um, Kevin, can we have a roll call vote, please? Navara Carr. Yes. Dr. Stefans. Sorry, I think you're gonna have to unmute everybody. Okay. Yes. Shahida. I'm sorry, was that my name? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Randy Johnson. Yeah. Commissioner Bill Peach. Yeah. Commissioner Marco Zayas. Yes. And uh, Commissioner Lawley is absent. Great, thank you. Well, it is unanimous of um, the people present today. Thank you all for making the time. Um, I really appreciate it and appreciate all of you um, being here and for um, listening to everybody everybody's public comment on uh, last Tuesday. I really appreciate um, all, all of you giving that extra time um, for that meeting as well. Um, with that, our next meeting is on October 19th, 2021. Um, and I think I'm going to adjourn us if there's no other things to be said. Great, well, thank you all. With that, I think we are adjourned and I will see you on the 19th. Thank you. Thank you, Navarro. Thank you, Navarro.